Hi, I'm Charlene. I'm going to walk you through how I use Notion and Evernote for my second brain. So as you can see on this side, this is my para master list where there's like the project area um, and the completion checklist where I embedded within the para list um, and some of the top problems, task manager and other things. So you can see my entire processing is stored within Notion. But if we look at the Evernote part, I also stored my PDFs and stuff as like the, from the from the web within Evernote because the API um, that connects, say, information to uh, my library is done much better in the Evernote Clipper than the Notion Web Clipper. I think the Notion Web Clipper is still a bit broken. They don't get a bunch of information um, and the parsing isn't isn't quite there yet. So take this website for example, if I were to look at this one and then I think, okay, that's, that's interesting. Skim through it, I like the image. I may just store it with Evernote and I try to do simplified whenever possible. So you can see that there's article here. Let's see what is simplified. Yeah, and the image isn't, isn't lost so i would just use simplified and i would choose um say marketing thing so i'm actually not doing that uh sending that right into triage i'm actually filtering it right now because like it's pretty easy but if i don't want to think there is also a notebook called triage inbox where i would just go there and batch process all the notes at once so that's um that's the first step. So say I store in marketing and I saved. Um, after I synced, I would go to my Evernote and then um, I can see it. Um, let's see. Let's uh, refresh it. Is it? Yeah. So it show up here. Um, usually, um, this is not something I would be uh, reading immediately. So I wouldn't like have a tag, but I do have like a um, tagging system that's pretty, pretty simple. Um, it basically just has, let's see, tag, active, completed, and next. So completed is my archive. It's good to have like a name for it. And then active is the things that I will be reading, doing at um, whenever I have time. And next is things that's like P2, I probably wouldn't get to it, but if I really have time, or have a, like a think week break, I would go there. Um, and why do I use Evernote? I think if we go to health, there's like a really great function that people don't talk about. It is when you highlight things within the Evernote annotation, uh, they will surf, they will uh, surface the highlights even before I get to the PDF. So like this is the main PDF and you can see that, yeah, the highlights are here already. Um, and I just found it really helpful to have that annotation summary. And also, the, there's really no PDF reader with the Notion, or maybe it just sucks. So I don't use Notion for PDF. I take the best of Evernote. And using Evernote, I also don't need a, additional storage. Um, besides like the videos I store on like um, YouTube or like other places, I don't, I haven't purchased like any additional storage because like if with the current premium Evernote, I have 20 megabytes per month and I would just like try to balance out and pretty much serve um, my current habit. So yeah. Um, and the other thing is the connection with other APIs. I'm not going to show you here, but uh, TDT, other things like super convenient. So that's a plus for Evernote. Um, and you can see that uh, my pair, there is also a line para workspace and this, unlike Notion, is just files. So you can see it, there, there, these are all PDFs and in the marketing, it's like old website. I don't really create new notes in Evernote because it's more like my uh, library where I just put there and then I have my Notion, which is my real brain where I think and process notes. So that's how I separate it. 